Great Coasters International has likely created your favorite wooden roller coasters. Mystic Timbers, Gold Striker, Prowler, Renegade, Thunderhead, and El Toro. Wait, what? You get the point. Great Coasters International is, well, great. In the past decade alone, they've innovated to a point where all enthusiasts are on the edges of our seats, waiting to see what's next for this company. But it wasn't always like that. Back in the 90s, Michael Boodley was a designer for Custom Coasters International, the best wooden roller coaster manufacturer in the game at the time. Sound familiar? Claire Hayne Jr., Michael Boodley's future business partner, was a highly esteemed designer in the coaster business too. And in 1994, the two split off from Custom Coasters International to create Great Coasters International. And eventually in 2002, CCI filed for bankruptcy. This sparked the rise of GCI from apprentice to master. Hershey Park called up the newborn company, asking them for a new wooden roller coaster. They didn't want a boring old layout that everyone had experienced before. They wanted something fresh, and thus, Wild Cat was born. This roller coaster proved to all parks that the new kid on the block could come out swinging and hit a home run. Wild Cat, for a time, was widely accepted as an insane, smooth roller coaster, and enthusiasts in parks alike were hungry for more. By 2010, GCI had built 14 more roller coasters and were constantly innovating. They started retracking older wooden roller coasters and were even coming out with a brand new train design, the Millennium Flyer. Soon enough, almost all of the roller coasters previously built by the company, along with the ones that were being retracked, got these trains. They provided comfort while also allowing room for great airtime and laterals. In the 2010s, GCI was busy. They had built 13 roller coasters, along with countless retracks in many different countries. The 2010s also marked the partnership of Skyline Attractions and GCI, who started to design all of their roller coasters together. They had a trick up their sleeve, and its countdown was ticking by, waiting to reveal itself. IAPA 2019 came and went. However, at an after party, GCI, along with their partner company, Skyline, unveiled their sucker punch to Rocky Mountain construction the Titan track. The previous year, GCI had unveiled the new Infinity Flyer train, but this new track design was special. Like RMC, it would be a steel track that replaces older wooden track, capable of going through crazy maneuvers and elements. It was only a matter of time before the first installment would take place. And soon enough, Funspot Orlando called up GCI to get some Titan track on portions of White Lightning, a roller coaster that was originally designed by the company. Now that it's 2023, Worlds of Fun, a Cedar Fair Park, opened Zambezi Zinger, a GCI roller coaster with an entire spiral lift hill entirely made out of Titan Track, along with a large turn on the ride having it too. There is yet to be a full Titan Track roller coaster or a conversion, but it's only a matter of time before this occurs. From the 90s to today, GCI started as a designer for a much larger company to branching off on its own to create one of the best roller coaster manufacturers in the game. And without them, there's no chance that we would have this level of wooden roller coasters today. So we can all greatly thank them for that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.